Beautiful. Too bad they took the snow off the ground. Too bad. It was more beautiful last night. I never worked for Russia. And you know that answer better than anybody. I never worked for Russia. Not only did I never work for Russia, I think it's a disgrace that you even asked that question because it's a whole big fat hoax. It's just a hoax. The people that started that investigation are McCabe, who's a proven liar and was fired from the FBI, are Lisa Page, who was forced to leave the FBI, and her lover, Peter Strzok, who we got their text messages, and what they said in those text messages was shocking when you talk about bias, and also Comey. And I guess they started it because I fired Comey, which was a great thing I did for our country. So the people doing that investigation were people that have been caught that are known scoundrels. They're, in, I guess you could say, they're dirty cops. And I'll tell you what, it is so unfair what's happened to the FBI in terms of the men and women working in the rank and file of the FBI. I know many of them. These are great people. And they are so embarrassed by their leadership, you've never seen, I have never seen a turnaround in a bureau or agency like I have with the FBI. They are so embarrassed. I think 12 people now have been terminated. And others, if you look at what's happening, others are going to go, what happened to the FBI? So when you say, should I have confidence in the FBI or intelligence agencies, when I see war and I see all of these people, when I see Lisa and her lover and their notes and their texts get captured, and you see what they said about me, having nothing to do with investigation, let me tell you something. When people see that, you have an angry country, because the whole thing is a hoax. It's a big hoax, and it's very bad for our country. So what happened with the FBI? I have done a great service for our country when I fired James Comey, because he was a bad cop, and he was a dirty cop, and he lied. He really lied. And all you have to do, wait a minute, and all you have to do is take a look at the crooked Hillary Clinton investigation where they brought her on the four, July 4th weekend. July 4th. They didn't swear her in. They didn't do any tapes. They didn't do anything. They just let her go. And she usually said, mostly said, I don't know. She didn't know anything. Just like James Comey a week ago, he was interviewed by Congress. And you know, unfortunately, people didn't see it because the Republicans with Paul Ryan, unfortunately, they didn't put him out there. But what he said was either he's a bad liar or he's grossly incompetent. Unfortunately, people didn't say it, but you can read the transcript. It was a very, very successful meeting. We talked about Israel. We talked about uh, the pipeline that Germany is paying Russia a lot of money. I don't think it's appropriate. We talked about that, talked about many subjects. But I have those meetings one-on-one -on -one with all leaders, including the president of China, including uh, Prime Minister of Japan, Abe. We have those meetings all the time, no big deal.